Hi, welcome back. This is Super Slinky Seven, and today I'll be making another video. It's the second in this series of World Edit tutorials. So, last episode I showed how to do basic things like make selections and set them as walls or outlines or a solid block or replace things. I also showed how to do the cylinder in sphere commands. If you missed that, you can go back to that. I will include a link in the description to the first episode. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to do more advanced things with your selections. So, the first thing I will be showing you how to do is stacking. So, if I make my selection like this, and then I outline it with wood. And I make a little window. See, I have my selection here because my selection stays even after I change things inside of it. So this place is still selected. So now it's like a little house with a window. Put some glass in that window. But what if I want to expand and make it look like a skyscraper? So I can do slash slash stack. Then I can say the number of times I want to stack it and the direction. And look at that, it's a skyscraper. Now, I don't have to just stack up. I can also stack to the side. Now, in World Edit, if you want to choose a direction, you have to choose north, south, east, or west. And the way that you can determine which direction is north is by looking at the clouds. The clouds move in the northern direction. So if that direction is north, then I want to make it stack east, which is this way. So I can say stack 10 E, which is short for east. And as you can see, it stacks that way and it plows through anything that's already there. You can also do down in any other direction. Also, if you want to just stack it, if you don't want to type it, but you want to look in the direction you want to stack it, you can just say, say I wanted to stack in that direction over there. I can just say, stack 5, and it'll stack in that direction. Now, I can do this in any of the north, south, east, west directions, or if I look diagonally, I can stack it that way. See? Now, this can be useful if you want to make a diagonal wall. Because if you want to make like a wall surrounding a city, but you want it to be diagonal, you can just make a big pillar, select it, and then stack it diagonally. Now also, with your selection, if you want to make another one somewhere, but you don't want it to be right next to it, you can do slash slash copy. Now, you want to be careful where you stand, because it will copy relative to you. So if I stand on top of it and say copy, then when I move somewhere and say paste, it'll go right underneath me like where I was standing. If I go over here and say copy, then if I move somewhere, when I paste it, it'll be relative to where I was. 
Now, this is very useful for, like, so many different things that you can do with this. But, what if you want to save a copy? Because when you, when you quit Minecraft, it will not save what you have on your clipboard. So, after you copy something, so, stand next to it and say, copy. You can save something that's called a schematic. And, basically, it's like a copy that you save on your hard drive, and you can find this if you go looking around on your computer. Um, <clears throat> so, I can say, schematic, that uh, was a typo. And then I can say save, MCE, and then the name. See, I saved house. So then that's available for me at any time if I want to put it somewhere. Like, unless I specifically delete it from my hard drive. So to load a schematic, you do schematic, load, and the name. And then it's just like when I copied it. Alright, I'm back. Um, that was kind of unexpected. Um, my recorder told me that I was out of memory on my computer. So, I guess I had that coming. I deleted a bunch of stuff, and I'm back. So, we just did schematics. So, now I can show you moving things. So, I'll need to reselect this area. And then I can say slash slash move. And then I can say 10 spaces and I'm going to move it up. And like with stacking, it's the same way of choosing a direction. So, only, I guess, inconvenience with this is that your selection area still stays the same. So now you can't move it again you have to undo it and then move it again because your selection area is still down here so then if you try to move it you'd move air and this is one last thing I'd like to show you and there is another tool other than the wand that you can use and that is the compass and this is extremely useful this compass basically lets you travel anywhere. So, if I click, like left click, as if to destroy a block, I can jump to wherever I clicked. And if I choose a wall, it'll bring me to the top of the wall, so I don't, like, fall and die. So, you can only click so far, like, you can't jump, like, anywhere. And... Obviously, if you don't click a block, then it won't take you anywhere. But, you can't, it's not just going somewhere that you click, you can also go through things. So, say I want to go inside there. Instead of left-clicking it, I can right-click it, and I will go inside. It's very useful, especially if there's like, if you accidentally like, are stuck underground, you can just right-click the ceiling and you'll go to the top. Also, it's useful when you're inside of blocks, like, say, I made a cylinder. Oh, I made that out of lava. Okay. Deal with this using my amazing world edit skills. 